Now at Jerusalem, at Mount of Olives, looking at Jerusalem. You can see the old city in front of you. Oh, the sun is in my eyes now that I'm not sure that you can see a lot. But Jerusalem is there. I can see the Dome of the Rock. But I'm here to show you that the Jews been buried outside the city. This is the city and Mount of Olives is a place of a, of a, it's a huge cemetery place. And I want to show you one place like that. This is my family of today. Say hello. And now Jesus was buried there. Remember? Mm -hmm. We saw the Church of the Holy Sepulchre from here. But the Church of the Holy Sepulchre has been destroyed so many times. Mm -hmm. We just came from the Nativity Church mm -hmm. that had been destroyed only once. But the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the place that Jesus was crucified, died and buried, actually been destroyed a lot. You won't see um, the original tomb. Then let me describe you the tomb. The Jews have been buried outside the city. Mm -hmm. We are now outside the city. This is part of Mount of Olives. This is a rich man tomb. And we know that Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own tomb. And he was rich. Then, usually, they actually had a kind of a cave. Mm. Rock cut cave. Mm. Then, here you can see an example for that. This is not Jesus' tomb. But I wanted to imagine mm that tomorrow and you will have a mass in front of the tomb. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine that it used to be like that. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and here there are three more mm -hmm. or two more than those are niches. That's where they bury the dead. When a Jew die, if he, if he is a religious Jew, he will be buried at the same day. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, if someone will die today, he will be buried at sunset because at sunset a new day begins. Today it's Saturday, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. At 5 p.m. it's going to be already mm -hmm. Sunday according to the Jewish calendar. Oh, okay. That's why tonight you can see a lot of things open because it's already oh, okay. Sunday. All right? And Saturday nothing is open in Jerusalem. Then in that case, if someone will die, they will purify his body here mm -hmm. just like Jesus was but he was purified. They will put a shroud around him, mm -hmm. and then they will put him in one of those niches. No casket, no coffin, Na almost naked. Okay. Then in that case, they will close it, mm -hmm. and then if there are, let's say, nine or 10 places here, what will happen to the 11 body? Mm -hmm. There's no more space for them. Mm -hmm. Then they will open the oldest tomb, they will take the bones out, oh. and they will put it in a small box by the name Osiri, and right there, there's a storeroom for that. Oh, All right, and okay. you can see the storeroom right there. Um, what is missing here is the upper part of the cave. It actually collapsed. Uh -huh. Another thing that is missing here is the rolling stone. Okay. Now, why it's very important for me to talk about that kind of a tomb? Because the Bible mentioned that Jesus got a tomb that no one used before. Mm. A virgin tomb. That one was used a lot. Yes. All right, then tomorrow when we will be mm -hmm. next to the tomb of Jesus, I want you to imagine that Joseph of Ramitia gave Jesus his own tomb. Oh, and later on, we're going to visit another tomb inside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre that looks like that. Yeah, Might be Joseph of Ramitia mm -hmm. tomb. If he gave his own tomb, yeah. he built himself in his garden her tomb. Then that's how Jews used to be buried. Mm. And now what we are going to do? We are going to back to the car. Judea and desert. <laughs> yes. We are going to see the Jordan River and the Dead Sea. Oh, yes. Then family, let's say hi. Ready. Yeah, let's go up to the car. If you like that video, what about subscribing my channel? Thank you very much for being with me and see you in my next video.